All right, well, all my chores are done. I thought I'd bring you guys along uh, as we take a little gander through our muscadines. Take a little trip to the muscadines. Uh, they're getting to where they're turning purple and they're doing what we want them to do. They're, uh, <laughs> they're getting ripe. So I, I, <laughs> I always grab one or two that I see that are ripe every night when I go down here to check the chickens uh, or to let the chickens out. And so do the grandbabies. Everybody does. This road just gets hammered because everybody's going down here to check chickens and then we walk back. So the other rows, we haven't really been checking. Uh, so I just thought I'd walk through, take you guys along, show you how our grapes are doing, and uh, pick a few grapes for, for me and for Kim. Kim likes the scumpernongs, so we'll check some scumpernongs. The way I got our plants uh, planted was this whole first row is muscadines, the purple muscadines. I'll show you that. See these guys right here? That's a good one. That's a good one. There's a good one. Uh oh, something got that one. Something got that one. Let's drop that one. There's a good one right there. It goes a little hard. I'm gonna wait. I'm gonna wait. There's a good one I see right there. Right there. Oh, still, still a little, still not quite right. Those two might be okay. Those two might be okay. That's the one I just tried to drop. But yeah, those are the muscadines, and they're doing okay. They're coming along. <laughs> we have a ton of different ones growing here. I'm trying to do this with one, two hands. We have a, a ton, a ton of different varieties. Uh, when, we planted, when we planted these, I didn't keep up with the, vari the variety I was planting. I just bought a bunch of grapes, stuck them in and was hoping they would grow. This is when I very first started doing muscadines. And, uh, we planted this row muscadines, that row scumpernongs, the next row muscadines, scumpernongs, muscadines, scumpernongs. We got six rows. But uh, they've still got a little ways to go. We're jumping the gun because we're dying to have some. Mm, mm, mm. They're still good. They're supposed to be a little darker. So you guys that actually do grow muscadines don't get on to me because you know as well as I do we're wanting some grapes but look at these things they're loaded these are the ones that haven't turned yet and they're just loaded this is a different plant here every every post starts a different plant down to the midway and down to the next plant plant so this is all one particular plant they're doing great Odin likes them too so I have to watch him sticking his head in there but some are producing some or some are getting ripe some are not some are a little later uh, to start getting ripe but we want to check these other rows the ones that the ones I want this one here gets picked to death we want to check the scumpernong row Look at the difference in this one, in this muscadine. See how I trimmed that up? Those really didn't take off after I trimmed them up. This is what happens when you have a heavy growth. You can't hardly cut your grass. You have to come through here and do a little summer pruning. But I mean, it is it is just just going crazy. This is the scumpernongs. This is a fun row to get in. Super fun row to get in. And when I say to get in, you see Odin. I like to get in here. I like to get in here, and the grandbabies just love to get in here. And now these are all green. You really can't tell how many grapes are in here. I don't know how well the camera's picking it up, but <laughs> let's look down this way. Look down this way. They look like they're coming on pretty good. Here's a few. This is a great plant right here. This second plant always produces tons, and it's always the first one to produce. It just produces tons and tons of grapes. Tons and tons, and it looks like it's really produced a lot this year as well. And these are the scumpernongs. These are the bronze looking grapes. You can see that one's still got a little bit 
More to go. This soft. Oh, this is going to be good. See, it's got a little bronze to it. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Really good. I'm going to get inside this row. Let's check down here. Uh, now look at this. Just grapes everywhere. Happy when I bring these in. And that's the second row of scumpernongs that we were just in. They are doing great. This is a row of muscadines right beside it. They're doing great too. I want to get in there. See, all these rows we really haven't had a chance to check out. This is a new plant I had to replace this year, and it's doing fantastic. It made it to both ends of the wire the first year. I mean, it just took off. Really good plant. Here's some that haven't started turning yet. I'm gonna put this bucket down. I'm gonna put this bucket right here so Odin don't get in it. And we'll just walk. It's hot and humid, of course. And we'll just walk. I wanna glance in here. Let's see. Let's go inside. Mm. Oh my gosh. Now these are some smaller grapes. They just seem really, really small. Really, really small. They might be a later producing grape. Just the smalls. Let's go down the wire. Let's go down and check these out. Same thing here. Here's some stuff to turn a little bit. Let's see. Looking for the good purple one. This is one I had to replace two years ago. And it seems to be putting on some grapes. See, that's what they're supposed to look like. They put on a few grapes. This is a second year plant. So for you guys that are interested in growing plants, that's what your plant will look like the second year. It will be, if you water it right, fertilize it right, you'll have a nice, healthy plant. I mean, that's a good plant, two years. And it's not super loaded. I mean, you see some grapes, See some grapes there. There's a few right there. There's some in there. It's just it's just really really sparse. But that third year it will go crazy, and every year after that, and there's still some down here. So the third year it will really really go crazy. Mm -hmm. See if the chicken looks on. Hmm. I may be training them to like muscadine. Mm-hmm. Gone. They like the holes. All right, that's another row of muscadines. This is another row of scumpernong right here. And uh, then we've got another row of muscadine and another row of scumpernong. But I see, I, I eyeballed this one as soon as I come around the corner. Look at that big pretty choker right there. Mmm, 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 mmm. There's some more in there. That one's a little tough. I'm going to wait on that one. But I spotted that one as soon as I walked around the corner. There's another good one. One up here. It's a small one, but it's going to be a delicious one. Mmm. Mmm, mmm, mmm. Looking good. And see, look at this white vine. This one's grown all the way out into the middle of the run. So was that one. These things will take off. I mean, they'll literally, I've had them grow all the way into the road next door. Looking good.
got that one. You can see they're loaded in there. They just covered up with this canopy. They're loaded. Loaded, loaded, loaded. It's going to be a good year. I'm super excited. My brother was here this weekend. We went fishing. He came out here and walked around. He said, what are you going to do with all those muscadines? I said, well, we're going to make lots of wine, <laughs> lots of jelly, and I will probably eat a gallon every single day at work. <laughs> and of course, I give a lot of weight too. Uh, we're having a little cookout. We got some, all the neighbors coming over mid-September. They're going to come over and pick a bunch, and we're going to have a cookout and just have some fun. But they will not go to waste. We'll freeze a ton of them because they can freeze. And then you turn around later during the winter time when you ain't got nothing to do, you can make jellies, <laughs> wine, which I constantly have a batch of wine being made. But these are loaded. Look at this. These are the big ones too. These might be the supreme. They're just huge. They're huge grapes. I mean, they're really, really big. Look how big that is. Big, big, big. And they come in a little later. The Supreme always seem to come in a little later. Really nice. Just loaded, loaded, loaded with grapes. Still a little hard. Look at that. Just loaded. It's like that. You just can't see it with a canopy, but it's like that down both both ways. I mean, it's just crazy. Just crazy. The camera doesn't do it justice. I mean, look at that. And the leaves are all in the way. I mean, it's just crazy at the grapes. Here's a good one. Gotcha. That's what they're supposed to look like. That's a good one. That's a soft one. That's a good one. Well, guys, we're coming up on our last row. And if you guys have ever thought about growing muscadine grapes, for you guys down here in the south, because... Uh, they really, they're a really, uh, they're a real heat tolerant grape. They love the, 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 the hot summers of the South. Uh, for you guys in the South, if you're interested in growing muscadine grapes, they are so easy. Fall is around the corner, believe it or not. And you could start building your trellises. This row here is actually just six plants. From here down to there, six plants. And for any little single family, any little small family, that would be all you need. I mean, that is a ton of grapes. A lot, a lot of grapes. Uh, they say you can average 70 to 100 pounds of grapes. I'm not sure if I hit 100 pounds. But look at this backside where there's not so much canopy. Check this out. See the grapes in there? They are just doing awesome. They are just everywhere. Everywhere. They're all up under here. There's another good one I'm going to grab. But look at that. Just loaded. But as I was saying, that, that's a lot of grapes. Two end posts and a handful of T posts. Every 20 foot, put one plant in the middle. Really, really easy. If you have any questions on how to grow them, leave me a comment in the comment section below. Hit me up on uh, Facebook or, or uh, email me, Kimfolk Farm of Georgia at gmail.com and I will do my best to answer them, answer your questions because these guys are so easy to grow. They're just, I, <laughs> and they're hands down better than any grape you'll ever put in your mouth. I just love them. Oh, I know I'm biased, but mm, they're so good. So, so good. They make excellent wine. So, also, check out Ivson's Nursery for your plants. <laughs> they are seeded. But they have all the plants you need. They have like 20-something varieties to choose from. And as you look through the varieties on their online catalog, it'll tell what grapes are good for what. As far as eating, making wine, making jellies, 
uh, high producers, low producers, mid-season, early season, late season producers. They, they have everything in the description. Let them know Ken Folk Farm of Georgia sent you over there. Ken Folk Farm sent you over there. Shane said to check out Ison's Nursery. Like I say, fall's right around the corner. Get you some plants. Fall and winter's the time to grow these things. Two years, you got grapes. Three years, you got more than you know what to do with. But I thought I'd take you guys through the vineyard super quick. That plant is a little shy this year. I noticed there's not quite as many on this plant, but that's okay. The rest are loaded. <laughs> that one's right there is lacking just a little bit, but the one beside it is loaded. But anyway, thanks so much. I hope you enjoyed this video. I know there wasn't much to it, but I just wanted to go through here and go up and down each row. I hadn't done that yet. So I thought I'd bring you guys with me. If you haven't subscribed, click that subscribe button. If you like this video, of course, like it. If you'd like to see our other vineyard, let me know in the description below and I'll do a video of the other vineyard. We have two different, uh, I actually have all the varieties labeled for each row. I really took time to, to do it right uh, because it's gonna be a U-Pick hopefully open next year. And all my YouTube subscribers, I will be informing you guys first. I think the opening weekend that we do, I think it's just gonna be a YouTube thing first and then general public after that. I think that'll be fun. But anyway, love you guys to death. That was super fun. Got some grapes. Love you guys to death again. See you on the next video.